Okay, now let's have a look-see over here, because... That's where the marker is. Is there a secret waterfall cave back here? There's a secret waterfall cave back there, hell to the yeah. Okay. Now we are in Augurain Grottoes. Now I'm a little scared, of course, because... The first time we came here, we were in that area to the right. Actually, this is where we've hung out. Turtle-shaped potato, yay. And... We never ran into any enemies when we went there. Are those enemies, those bobbly thingies in the water? I don't know. So I was a little freaked out on our first little dipping the toe into Augrain Grotto. How is it gonna go this time, you wonder? I don't know. Am I missing something? How do we get here? Anyway, here's a... Okay. Over there, straight up, and 3 o'clock. 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock are the arrows there. I saw one up here. Mm, I think the 3 o'clock one is the only one that intersects with these, so it has to be straight down from that marker, which means it might actually be up there where we can't get to. Oh, never mind, it's right here. Got him! Oh, there's a path to the left! I missed that. Oh, man, they actually gonna bleed in. But I'm glad I wrapped back, because um, I wouldn't have found um, the other uh, marker there, so... Oh, these are enemies. They're goblin knights. Oh, I'm skilled. Because, okay, ooh, okay, first of all, they didn't take very much damage there. <laughs> Angry gibberish. Very funny. Anyway, uh, you know, the fact that you needed sky armors to be able to come here means that, you know, obviously the challenge here will be on par for when we get the sky armors. Might even be higher, you know, like you weren't meant to come here at first. The, the minute you get a sky armor, I, I don't know. Glenn's taking a beating, I gotta start paying attention. I was playing a little loosey-goosey fighting the enemies out there on the world map, but... Gotta play a little bit more careful, I think, with these knights. Can I also say I feel a little bad that I killed Knack the Yak? Seems like a, seems like a nice fellow. So, you know, I, I feel, it was just a cute big yak monster. I, I don't feel super great about having killed them, but... So it goes. Okay, I gotta drop a heal on everybody. They do pretty good damage, these gobbos. So I'm also gonna... Pull in here. There we go. Boing. Ooh, let's not do that. Let's instead... Bring in a little back up here. Jump into fire! Okay, that is weird. A fire-based attack that causes the wet status effect. That's, uh... Certainly curious. Yeah, get him, Chris. You know, I think more effective would have been if I swapped in Rob to attack and then just used uh, Amalia's Rays, which brings you up to 50%. But, uh, whatevs. Sneaky stab. Oh, my mind is broken. That sucks. I gotta remember to use this Requiem more often. It increases defense and mind. That's, like, very handy. So, it's got the dry effect, but it's also strong against water. Does the dry effect run over that, so to speak? Let's find out. It does, although, mm, I don't know, hard to tell. Okay, I got a heal. I like, would have liked to use multi-shot to reduce the meter there, but so it goes. Smoke on this. The fact that that move's called Cigarette Light when it's that ominous is uh, certainly a mood. Yeah. 
Crest Heal. Oh, it's got heavy on it. That means this one is gonna hurt like a truck. It did. Yay. What is down here? A treasure. Platinum ore. That sounds exciting. It's our money stitch. Oh, right. We have, our money stitch is bonkers because we found that buried treasure. Right. So we can buy a good deal of uh, clues next. I've been spending money on a lot of other things, so I wonder if I should just splurge and get three tips. Bethy. Okay. I haven't looked at these in ages, but I am curious. What could Bethy be? It's the name Rob came up with for a tarantula. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, so here's the yak horn. A huge horn that can be used as decoration. The high brothers used it to drink their ale out of it. Cool. Oh, these are always cute, these. Trivia's here. No moss, your loss, as some people in the Arnsreich say. Victor explained that moss is a word for money there. Doesn't really make many sense. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, you could have a good time just reading all of those, I imagine, because there seems like there's like some really funny like jokes and trivia in there, but... Okay, hold on, hold on a second. I saw something weird, but we're gonna get this first. Okay, no, it's just a weird wall texture. Because there are hidden caves here. I remember now, we busted the one open long, long ago when we came to that, like, one region of the grotto. Uh-oh, that's some other goblin. Goblin wizard. Oh, no. I say we take the wizard out first. I don't trust, you know, casters there. I got an attack buff going. Okay, okay. Use the dispel to remove that, I think. Set up the Minway. Don't want to use that. Instead, let's use... No Petal Storm. Darn. Oh, that's a sneaky stab you used on me. Oh, we should have used regular heal, because it was a Sienna that was beat up. Oopsie, no, I'm not thinking straight. There, uh, oh, should I have maybe done that on the the knight instead? Do they hit harder? I don't know. Uh, let's increase our defense. I gotta remember to use this Requiem. Miasma Skull. Oh, oh, god, okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy, okay. not do that. Instead, bring in the deed. Drop a meteor on them underground. How does that work? Oh, what is um Amalia and Tomka's ultra move, by the way? We haven't we haven't ever like tested those. Oh, I gotta do that. In a bit. But first play the drums a little bit. Ow, why are you bullying? Gosh darn it, why are you bullying? Victor like that. Uh, uh. What is the ultra move? Deals high physical damage to all enemies. Okay, I will try it at some point. But not right now, because that will drop us out of overdrive. Bring in Bothras instead, and... Almost got this wizard out of here, and now the wizard is out of here. Ooh, Mind Break is bad for um, Len, so let's actually do this. Ooh, is Mind Break fixed by this? It is great. Hey. 
Worked like a charm. Now Amalia's uh, is revives and restores all HP for all characters. Wow, so that is a clutch Hail Mary if we get in a bad spot. Gotta remember that one, wow. Just a full reset. Well, except it doesn't do anything for technical points, but still. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, the gobbos aren't too bad here. Then we're, we're doing okay. Just, although, wait, I'm sure we're gonna get like a pack of three of them in a bit. Okay, ducky. Making good progress here. Gemstone Jerkin. It must be Jerkin my Gherkin or something. Mm, yeah. Who uses uh, light armor again? It's already what we got there for Bothra's. Oh, Len could use it. Gemstone Jerkin, but this drop in technical points I don't think is worth it, so... I think I'm gonna sit on that. Oh, but you use them, of course, right. Let's do that, no reason not to give Rob that. Hmm. I do appreciate cave levels, they are a little bit more constrained than the big open fields. Hey, I found it. So, you know. Makes life a little easier sometimes adventuring. Dragon Mail! Ooh. Let's go. Now, who else uses... It's really only Victor who also uses uh, armor. But, like, this scale armor just drops all across the board. I don't think it's worth it, so I'm not going to do it. He can, he can hold on to the Phantom Cloak. So, file that under something we can sell if I really need money, but I'm running out of it. Uh, huh. Good finds. Uh, hold on. Just out of curiosity, while we are here in Augrain Grotto, there's vampires! Oh no! Excalibur, oh, man. Defeat Excalibur is an enemy. Okay, I'm gonna find one more collectible. I can't. Oh, well, I should have picked those up while I was running around earlier, huh? I didn't realize I was falling behind on those. God King Gamdriel. This has been bothering me for a while now. Okay, but this is two out of four caves. Yeah. Take a trip by boat. That's mysterious. Bog the real gob. Explore most of the area. There is a lot here in. Augrain, honestly. Surprisingly much for just a little cave system. Hey, a fast travel location? Well, that's handy. Thank you. Oh, and there's buried treasure here, too. I love that that's a marker as well. I see those bubbles. Oh, it's not an ambush. Here's Madeline. <laughs> that vicious feed I was talking about lies ahead. It's too strong even for you, but uh, if you feed it this berry, you might stand a chance. I developed this berry for strong monsters like that. <laughs> it uh, weakens their body by a lot. Incocybin Inco berry. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of eyeballs on this strong monster. Had I. Wasn't that on the reward board? Hold on, I gotta back up real quick. Explain this again. Now, show this monster who's boss. Uh, there's something here. Tad Eye. Defeat four Tad Eye. So this super strong monster isn't even a... Ending. So what happens if I try to fight this guy? About this eye? That didn't do much. Uh, 
Yeah. Fair enough. Wanted to see how bad it could get, and the answer is it could get really bad. So instead, what 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 Incosibin berry? A berry that weakens certain monsters' bodies. Here you go! Enjoy! <laughs> Did that do 88,000 damage, or was it two hits of 8,000 damage? I actually couldn't make out. In any case, wow! We are not meant to fight these things. Like, this isn't actually doing anything to this guy. Hold on. Even these regular attacks, it's... Wow! Okie dokie. Oh, but, oh wow, they are... They are very low on stats, though. That didn't do really anything, huh? Okay, okay, okay. It's just a fight, then. It does already have all of those, so... Uh. Apparently it's permanent. Oh, 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 oh. Did I break the game by using that ability on it? Because now it's like... Uh oh. Now there is a timer on it. Oh, boy. Rob, you wanna, like... Okay, Woo. we didn't have to find out the question of did I just, like, doom us. Okay, can we go back to Madeline now? Good job! Let's move on! So we're supposed to carry on? Like, does this place really lead to Nis... Nisa? That was a little creepy. Those enemies... Didn't exactly enemy me up. Okay, I don't like that. I don't know what this is leading up to, but it cannot be good. What the? Ah, a member of the Adventurers Guild. Let me help you with some hints about unique monsters. Firstly, if you are lucky, you can find a unique monster in the west of Ograin. It's an alpha male. I've heard it that all other enemies in the area disappear when it spawns. Secondly, people say a goblin takes its throne somewhere in the northeast of Ograin. Apparently it hates all goblins and wishes they were dead. Maybe it won't appear until all the other goblins are gone. Oh cool, so there's like mechanics for forcing these encounters. I wonder if that is, um, what was it? It was a really dumb name. Bog the real gob. I wonder if, if you want to fight Bog, you gotta do that by killing all the goblins. Interesting. And the other one seemed to just be random. If I understood that correctly. That description. Hold on, haven't we gotten... Wait, why doesn't this... We're getting collectibles all the damn time, but we're... Why isn't this, like, pinging to ten? I don't understand. Now I'm confused. Are we supposed to just go northwards? Because the marker is still there. Uh-oh. This probably leads to that place where that goblin's on a stroll. Is there a secret? No. Looked like there was a secret path there. Are we supposed to keep going north? I'm... I'm... Ugh. I, I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable by not knowing where we're supposed to go. Why? Well, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's ease our tension by reading about that monster we just fought. The... Tad Eye? Come on. Is it, is it somewhere here? I imagine this counts as a dungeon. Oh, by the way, Terror Terrier. General Kendrick had the idea of training dogs for combat. He had heard that some other nations were doing the same. Without inspiration, he took the only native breed of dog, the Terrier. Unfortunately, it didn't seem threatening, so he gave it a dangerous sounding name and put a rocket launcher on its back. That was certainly a choice. Here they are, Goblin Wizard. This goblin doesn't believe in spiritualism. However, since it still knows magic, it serves its chief as a mage in battle. Hmm. 
Oh, by the way, I love that there's a little can symbol here. Now I, now I mean better understand it even better. So if we wanted to go hunt around for abilities for our guy, don't get. There's a handy dandy guide here, you know. It's very good to know. Anyway, Goblin Knight. There are no real ranks among goblins. This goblin simply felt stronger than a normal soldier, so it called itself a knight. And a tad eye. There is nothing scarier than wandering through a cave and suddenly looking into the 43 eyes of a tad eye. These mighty beasts are as wide as most corridors in Ograin, and passing by them is rarely possible. Their only weakness is said to be a small berry that they love above all else, but is equally their undoing. That's tragic. They do- they have 90,000 health! So, are you supposed to, like, get a sky armor eventually? Here, to fight these things with? Or... Like, like, is there an area of this place where you can use sky armor? Or, like, what? How? I- cause- cause the way this, like, numbers in this game don't go up crazy- at a crazy huge rate. It just seems inconceivable to me to imagine that we could ever, like, do 80, 90,000 damage in a regular fight in, you know, in, you know, at a, like, like, like on foot with our guys, you know. Like maybe for, like, a final boss I could understand 90,000 health and we just have to, like, plug at it. Even there it sounds like a lot. That That is crazy. Maybe the later Tad Eyes just will be easier or something, I don't know. Or maybe we'll get more of those berries. Like, maybe you can find those berries as a collectible and that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It, it can't be that, like, you're supposed to just beat them up normally, right? It, I, that, that seems inconceivable to me. Who would have expected ruins so deep inside Augurain? Whoa, what madness! What does it say here? By the gods! I knew it! Nisa didn't sink by any misfortune! These ruins are the proof! They serve as an entrance to the bottom of the crater! However, they were built in time before Nisa's demise, so the builders knew exactly what would happen to Nisa. <laughs> Does that complete the job? We're not in Nisa yet, silly! Silly? Wait a second, is that a hidden switch? Whoa. The gate opened! There are three more gates! If the inscription here is to be believed, the switches are scattered all across Belandis! Oh! What? You're expecting us to find them all? Of course! Money is not an issue. Do I really have to repeat myself? According to the text, there is a switch in Roland, the Fjordwoods, and Perpetua. Oh, well I wonder if I found the Roland switch already, because there was that random switch that we just checked out in Ograin Grotto, the like, the like, you know, little area. What do you think, Glenn? Should we go through this trouble? We already travel a lot, so we might as well be on the lookout for these switches. Wonderful! Then I'll wait here. Y you wanna wait here? I think Glenn meant we're gonna go look for the switches on the side. That could take weeks or months. But we may never find them. No problem. I'm practiced at waiting. It's one of the virtues of any good scientist. So, I wish you good luck. <laughs> Somehow, I feel sorry for her. Maybe we should look directly after all. Huh. So I guess the side quest isn't over then? Ooh. Why are there symbols like that all over the place? That's mysterious. Although, hmm, that is where that one switch was right there. So, so maybe... Do you think there are places in the Thior Woods and Perpetua that connect to Ograin Grottoes? Like, we really are traveling just across the continent in these caves. Like, the, the perspective is, like, a little, you know, wonky. I, I don't know. 
Hmm. Okay, I see. Switches in Roland, Perpetua, and the Fjordwoods. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of a fun scavenger hunt, I have to say. This has got real energy of like some kind of Indiana Jones' adventure. The question is... The question you gotta ask yourself is... Am I actually smart enough to find the other ones if we go look for them right now? Is this even meant to be done right now? The fact that Glenn was like, maybe we should just go do this right now... Kind of makes it sound like the game expect us to, uh... Go look for them all right now. So, I don't know. I'm a little scared to go to some of these areas, so I'm just kind of being a little coward here. But let's go west here, just to have a look-see for where this one... One marker might be. It does sound like we're supposed to go topside and then visit the places, though. So this might be, like, a place closed off. It certainly looks that way. A place closed off that we can't get to from here. Just like the... Just like the one we adventured in uh, the Roland Fields, like... Crevasse. Oh, man. It's... Trying to keep track of this wacky legion. Okay, more of those creepy pipes. This is... Whoa, what the heck is this now? Looks like an item would fit in here. And here. Wow. This is crazy, whatever this is. Okay. If I was gonna hide a freaking boss fight against something called God King Gamdriel in a game like this... It sounds like something you'd have to put the effort into to find six objects to summon him to appear from there, right? So I'm gonna just make a guess that that's where the God King pops in. And as you can see, by the way, here we are. Cannot get up there by the looks of it, and that's probably where that switch is. So, theory confirmed, we probably don't have to go east to hunt around for that, uh, that eastward one. It'll be the same thing. So now we know what our mission is. Next time we're gonna fly to the Fjord Woods. after that we're gonna fly to Perpetua, and hopefully we're gonna find these things. Um, we're basically at the end of the episode, but why don't I go a little long just to quickly explore this area. That's a lot of money. Oh, and why don't I go and buy a couple of new tips from, from our Oracle? Especially because I just made absolute bank from that uh, find right there. By the way, I'm scared of one thing. Sacred water! No, that's not what I'm scared of. I'm scared of one thing. Uh... That's interesting. It looks like you almost want to go to that waterfall here. Hmm. We can't use sky sky armor, no. That adventurer just said that there's a monster to the west which shows up occasionally, and when it shows up there's no enemies to be encountered. Well, we haven't bumped into any enemies while exploring this area, so... Oh boy. Is that... Senior, Senor Tadai. Hello, I am Senor Tadai. I believe it just did 14,000 damage. Uh, I will not be letting you get to this, uh, this uh, marker over here, so uh, you should best go along and run away, my friend. Wisely chosen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see there's like a there's a class emblem statue right over there. Unfortunately, senior, senior Tadai, I'm being I'm being an idiot. It's not senior Tadai. It's senior Tadai, is uh, being a problem. Now, let's be smart for once. I could have done done the like adventure way, get out of the cave, the grotto, and come back here and uh, you know. 
you know, then fly with the airship over here. That's the adventurer's way, but we have these damn warp crystals still. So let's just do that to get back here real quick, like. Uh, but mental note, so we know where the statue is in Augrain Grotto now. Which is one of the assignments was somewhere. So we're there. Find a class emblem. Yeah. Um, however, first of all, it's worth at some point to go see if, like, Senior Tadai has uh, despawned. Like, if, like, regular enemies are there instead, and that means that it might be easier to get to that class emblem. But, since the enemies seem rather difficult... Uh, well, the Tad Eyes are awful, the uh, Goblin Knights are doable, the Gobbos are okay. But the difficulty seems a little unsure there, so I'm not sure about doing this class emblem in Augrain Grotto just yet. It would be super worth it, I think, to, like, for example, get the Cortara one instead first. Or, you know, I think there might be some... I, I don't remember. Was there one in... The Perpetua one we've got, and I, I don't remember if there were more hidden somewhere. I, kind of... My, my brain is broken. Did, did Arkent have a class emblem? It does have. Yeah, we got options. Arkent is one. I think Cortara's the safe bet. Oh, I, I don't know, like, maybe we missed it on our first go, which means it's probably fairly easy to do now. Kind of like the Fjordwoods one was. Hard to say, hard to say. But yeah, let's buy... How, how, how many do we have? How much money did we have? We have, like... I'm wiping sweat off my brow. 10,000! What's this human popsicle doing on top of the highest mountain? For a thousand arc, I can find you new recruits. Human popsicle, top of the tallest mountain. Mount Rydell, perhaps? Should we pop in over there next time? I say next time we pop into Mount Rydell, then look for this person. And one more. I can see a wide beach and another fortune teller. That one I'm not sure about. I don't know. Arkent obviously has plenty of beachside property. Roland Fields also has a coastline, so I might drop by Roland Fields at some point, explore the coastline with my sky armors. Might be worth it. And let's get one more. Actually, I have no new information for you. Take your money back. Aha! Very interesting. So, But this is the first batch, so if I'm reading that correctly, there will eventually be a different batch. But, okay, we've um, exhausted everything, huh? Okay, well... Let's... Not gonna do it. I'm gonna call the episode here. We went a little long, but nothing too... Nothing too sweaty. Let's take to the skies and let's... I'll talk my plan. We're gonna hit up... Can we go to M Mount Rydell? I, I think it was marked here? There it is, Mount Rydell. We're gonna go over there to look for this human popsicle, so we're gonna look for somebody frozen on top of the mountain, I guess. And... I might drop by here really quickly and fly the coastline, okay? Just, like, explore the coastline real quick. If that doesn't work, then at some point we might drop by Arkant Archipelago. But that's gonna be a much bigger exploration, and um, I think I'll save that for a later time. So, hopefully we'll get two new guildies next time. Oh, well, I'll be happy if we even get this one. I mean, but this is the... This is also a pretty tall mountain, Mount Rydell, if we think about this map here. So I think it's a pretty safe bet to go over there. But, uh, yeah. Apart from that, of course, once we do a little bit of hunting for these party members, we are going to drop down into the... Where the frick, there's the Fjord Woods. There's something else. There's Yggdrasil over here. I'm gonna drop down into Fjord Woods, drop down into Perpetua, see if we can do this quest. The fact that Glenn was like, maybe we should just do this right away. Oh, by the way, that's an awkward. Look at that. That's a really awkward. You can see the seam on the like pieces of the map there. Wow. Bit of an oversight there from well done map. I don't know, the little awkward line there. Huh. Small dig against a presentation there. Huh. Um, yeah, 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 sorry. 
once we're once I'm sated exploring, we're gonna go here because the way Glenn was like, maybe we should like do this, makes it sound like it might be like okay to do it already. I, I I'm having trouble telling if it's a side quest you're supposed to do just all throughout the game or if you can just like do it right now. We're gonna try and do it right now. Sound good? Good. Catch you all next time for more fantastic adventures in Jane Echoes. Should be good. Bye!